Smart City? In short, smart cities leverage technology to serve people. Collecting and analyzing data from people, sensors, and devices throughout the city and environment allows government services and law enforcement, companies ranging from energy and utilities, waste management, private transportation, to healthcare and hospitals, and even smart homes, to all more effectively manage and optimize their resources. By enhancing the quality, performance, and interactivity of all these urban services, not only are costs and resource consumption reduced, but more sustainable and environmental friendly strategies are implemented. Meet TIPCO. We enable smart cities. Our product offering provides complete end to end enterprise grade solutions to any smart city use case. In the short demo to follow, we will highlight just a few of the several use cases implemented completely on the TIPCO stack. This demo showcases streaming, visual, and historical analysis, as well as an automated case and incident management solution. The first scenario demonstrates how ingesting data from traffic sensors can be used to effectively route traffic and immediately trigger case management to resolve traffic violations. The immediate benefits are effective traffic management, reduced air pollution, and better travel times and fuel economy. Traffic sensors taking advantage of Flogo, TIPCO's ultralight edge microservices framework, can run edge analytics to determine when and what data to send to the IoT gateways or cloud services, reducing operational costs by as much as 85%. From there, TIPCO streaming analytics ingests the data where it can be aggregated and sent through a decision table to categorize the traffic as high, medium, or low. This is a consolidated portal that can contain all of the components needed for a smart city. The solution also provides automatic case management in the case of that a car runs through a red light. Here this is indicated by that car icon. When this traffic violation occurs, the case is reported, investigated, fined, and closed in an easily auditable view. In the next use case, streetlight activation is determined by real-time data analysis. By doing so, not only is streetlight's lifetime increased, but asset management is improved due to the efficiencies of scheduled maintenance and the costs are reduced with the decreased energy consumption. Returning to the traffic view where the square icons represent traffic, we can see there is no traffic in this area. Switching to the streetlight view, we can see the streetlight at that location is turned off, reducing energy consumption. Streaming analytics is only part of the picture. To get the most insight out of your data, you also need to analyze the historical data. In the next scenario, we'll examine how a regional power authority can use visual analytics to better understand outages and why they occur, as well as to track key performance indicators such as KD or Customer Average Interruption Duration Index and apply Six Sigma analysis and control charts to reduce risk of outages resulting in reduced costs. Lean Six Sigma is important as it is a widely used business management approach that seeks to improve performance by reducing errors, outliers, and process variability. Whether it be tracking historical performance, identifying variability, applying advanced statistical models, finding the most efficient improvements, or continuous control there and after, TIPCO Analytics can guide advanced statisticians and power users alike through each phase of Six Sigma's DMAIC or Define, Measure, Analyze, and Control phases. Navigating to the Statistical Analysis tab, we have a Spotfire dashboard embedded in the portal. This first tab provides an interactive outage summary. We can quickly identify a pattern in the outage history seeing how many more outages occur during the summer months. We can drill down to see the outage cause for a specific month and can reduce the results to just show unauthorized classifications. Here we see that equipment issues, overload, vegetation, and lightning are the leading causes of outages for the month of June in the South Central Division. For more details on where these outages occur, we can zoom in on the map chart. Here each cause is sized by the amount of customers affected. Let's now compare June to a more average month of March. Drilling down on March we see just equipment and vegetation as the leading causes, which makes sense as there is less lightning and no need for air conditioning that can easily cause overloads. 
The next tab tracks KD system Y, which is just one example of identifying variables in the measure phase. This next tab progresses to the analyze phase. Here we have a plot that makes identifying outliers quick and easy. Other out-of-the-box features useful for this phase include regression analysis, ANOVA, and chi-square tests. And then there is Typical's enterprise runtime for R. That is a high-performance, enterprise-quality statistical engine. The models can be developed in open source R, deployed to tear, and visualized in Spotfire, so no rework of existing models is needed. Returning to the Spotfire page, we have the various process controls on the left. By marking specific data of interest, we can now see a detailed description of the causes of the outages. The next tab applies outage cause impact analysis to the data we just marked. We can see a defective substation was a major cause. Hovering the mouse over for more details, we can see how many outages occurred, and also how long the duration was, and how many customers were affected. This information helps identify the root cause of the outages, which helps complete the third phase of Six Sigma analysis. This allows the organization to then improve the infrastructure or processes in order to reduce the risk of future outages. Navigating to the next tab, we have a control chart, which is necessary for the final phase of the Six Sigma analysis. This helps ensure the work completed in the previous phase is maintained through continual measurement.